ChatGPT and OpenAI has been a super hot topic. And of course, it's for good reason. Um, I think what ChatGPT has been able to do is absolutely amazing. And you've probably experienced that for yourself. Now, the first thing that a lot of people think of whenever they see something like that is how can I make money from ChatGPT? You know, what, what type of process can I do? What, what can I use this tool for um, that can generate me money very easily? And a lot of people think, you know, if ChatGPT is some artificial intelligence that can solve any problem, any complex issue that I throw at it, then why can't ChatGPT tell me how to trade in the stock market? So I've seen quite a number of videos online um, for people essentially trying to use ChatGPT to come up with a profitable trading strategy um, in one way or another. And almost every single time, basically every time, they fail. Now, the reason why they fail is because when they're telling ChatGPT to come up with a profitable trading strategy, all they're giving it is just price data. They're just telling it, you know, here's the price of a stock. Now, predict the future. <laughs> and if, if, if you tell any human to do that, they're not going to be able to predict the future. And so will ChatGPT. ChatGPT is not going to be able to predict the future of a stock, even though it might be able to analyze data better, even though um, it is a really cool technology, it still can't predict the future. And so giving it price data won't do anything. But what I thought with my background and my experience is I wanted to experiment giving ChatGPT other forms of data, giving AI other forms of data that it can use to analyze stocks to see if it would be able to come up with good predictions um, or good analysis on that information to determine if stocks will go up or down in the future. So this project, what I'm going to show you is by no means anything close to being completed. The point of this is to inspire you to experiment with similar things to this to see if you can come up with something um, or learn something new about how you can create profitable trading strategies in financial markets. So what tools I used for this? Um, the first tool I used is Ticker Trends. Ticker Trends is a platform actually that I created. Um, the point of Ticker Trends is to be an alternative data research platform. So basically, um, Ticker Trends is really helpful to analyze um, how companies are performing. Let's say that I want to see how um, Lululemon has been performing over the past couple of years. Lululemon is a very much an online focused company. Although they do have retail stores, um, a large portion of their sales can come from, from virtual sales from their website. So what we can do to get a really good idea of the success of Lululemon is we can track the number of people who are going to their website over time. And on Ticker Trends, we, we track data like this um, from different websites, from social media accounts, from social media mentions, from Google, from news articles. We track all of this data and we relate it to financial markets so that you can gain an edge on the information that everyone else um, is analyzing. Because if another trader is only looking at price data um, or only looking at news articles, if you have access to web traffic data or social media data, in-depth analysis over time, then you can have a really good edge in predicting where the next earnings are going to land um, or how the company is performing uh, over time that other investors might not be looking at. That's how you create an edge in financial markets. But basically what I wanted to do was to take this data and to feed it into ChatGBT, OpenAI, um, and other AI models and just experiment with how it performed. So I took this web traffic data exactly like this um, where you can kind of see how many people are going to a, a website over time. And I put it into a Python project um, on a Jupyter notebook. So, so this is just basic Python code. Um, what I did is I created this function, get data set, which essentially formats the data. It formats price data and web traffic data um, into an array. And then uh, that is for different companies. So here I have Crocs, Lululemon, Decker Outdoors, Coinbase, Skechers, On Running, and Flowers. These are all companies that are pretty online focused. So that's why I chose these companies for ChatGPT to analyze. And all I did was turn these into data sets. So this is just the raw data. This is just the value over time um, of the price and the web traffic. Next, what I did 
is I took ChatGPT. So this is just essentially initializing ChatGPT. It's the same thing as if you just typed it in on the website. Um, I told ChatGPT, you are a stock market analyst who specializes in alternative data analysis um, as what it was uh, meant to do. So you are a stock market analyst who specializes in alternative data analysis as what it was meant to do. And then I gave it the prompt of based on historical web traffic data and price data, give me a percentage of likelihood from zero to 100% that Decker Outdoors will go up in the next 60 days. And then I gave it the web traffic data um, and the price data that we had from ticker trends. I printed the response and what it told me was based on the provided data, I would assign a likelihood of around 75 to 80% that Decker Outdoors will go up in the next 60 days. The stock has demonstrated a consistent growth pattern in both web traffic and price uh, close percentage change, with the majority of the daily web traffic measurements exceeding the moving average, indicating continued interest. So what was really cool here is that OpenAI was essentially, uh, ChatGPT was essentially analyzing all of this raw data that I gave to it. All I said was, you know, here's a bunch of data and here's a stock. Although it doesn't have any context on uh, you know, what the company does or any recent news on the company, with just the data alone, it was able to come to this conclusion um, that with the price data and with the web traffic data, that most likely this company is doing really, really well. So if we go back to ticker trends um, and we check this data for ourselves, we can search Decker Outdoors um, and then we can look at Hoka, which is the website that ChatGPT was analyzing. You can see here that it's it's done wildly successful. Um, so it's cool because instead of us having to go look at the data physically or even come to a conclusion ourselves, um, we can have ChatGPT almost as a second opinion um, or we can use it for automated analysis, maybe for an automated strategy or algorithm if we really wanted to. Um, now, I do also want to quickly mention that ticker trends, um, we did just recently reduce the price for the ticker trend subscription to $89 per month. This is in comparison to $200 per month that it was just before this, before the price decreased and many other websites that don't even come close to the data that we provide um, are in the range of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per month. So really what we're providing at Trick Ticker Trends with historical web traffic data, social media data, news sentiment data, uh, Google data, all this data is combined into one platform, making it really easy for you to perform financial market analysis. And it all comes at a price of $89 per month. So if that interests you, I highly recommend you check out tickertrends.io. I will leave a link down in the description down below. Um, and maybe you can even perform your own AI analysis um, and create your own strategies with it that you would like to do um, with upcoming APIs that we will be launching. But let's get back to the Python script and some of the other results that I found. So next I asked, I asked the same prompt, but for a different company, because of course, um, you know, one conclusion is really cool, but it needs to be able to consistently perform that level of analysis on this data. So I gave it the same prompt, but for Coinbase and for Coinbase, it said, based on the data provided, I would assign a 65% likelihood of Coinbase going up in the next 60 days. So this is cool because clearly Coinbase web traffic is not nearly as good as Decker Outdoors. And it was able to identify that and assign it a lower arbitrary percentage um, of the likelihood that it would go up or down in the next 60 days. So 65% is still, you know, slightly above 50%. Um, and I would say 50% is really the turning point of being either um, going up or going down. If it's below 50%, then it's more likely that it is to go down, whereas 65% is that is more likely to go up. Um, however, um, it was still able to differentiate with those arbitrary percentages, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I said, what if we could ask ChatGPT to actually make a comparison between two data sets itself? So instead of me having to say, you know, oh, 65% versus 80%, uh, what if I just asked ChatGPT to do that comparison itself? So I said, based on the historical data um, from Crocs and Lululemon, um, which company do you think will perform better? 
And what ChatGPT came up with is it said, based on the web traffic alone, it seems that Crocs has a higher chance of performing better than Lululemon in the next 60 days. Crocs has had a consistently increasing web traffic trend um, as seen from the increasing web traffic moving average, which could translate into an increase in price. On the other hand, Lulu has had more fluctuation in its web traffic trend, indicating that its performance may be, may be less predictable. So this is really cool because it can, it's performing um, more detailed analysis that honestly sounds like it could have been written by some analyst looking at the data itself. Um, and again, this is from the context of if you're trying to build an automated strategy, imagine the potential here of having some intelligence that can interpret the data. You know, a lot of the time, if you're building um, an automated strategy in trading, you're really limited by the fact that you're constricted to mathematical formulas um, or machine learning that um, is, is much more uh, not as well defined as like a real human doing analysis on the data. However, whenever you're able to automatically do this type of analysis and potentially feed this into a machine learning algorithm um, or other layers uh, that you can build into an automated strategy, I think that's where this becomes really, really powerful. Um, so of course, this is with OpenAI, but if you are interested, I also did this with basic machine learning algorithms as well. So I'm not using OpenAI. Uh, just to see kind of the potential of this. Linear regression is essentially the most basic machine learning algorithm that you can use, but I fed the same data into a machine learning algorithm uh, into linear re regression model, and I plotted the predictions over time uh, with the chart of the actual price. So here you can see the predicted versus the actual um, price that the machine learning model was making. Again, only based on price data, and web traffic data and both times for both companies it did give pretty significant um or at least pretty um substantial indicative results um in trying to predict the price so i thought this was really cool because again this is the potential of this data with very very rudimentary basic forms of analysis this is a very um, non-perfected ma machine learning model that was able to get um, scores that were super high in terms of accuracy and predicting the prices of these stocks. Um, and when I was even experimenting with things like ChatGPT, I think that was also giving results that were at least interesting enough to continue to pursue. So my point here with this video is not to say, um, you know, this is a magic way that you're guaranteed to make money in the stock market using ChatGPT or AI, but it's meant to be a starting point for you to explore alternative data more into your own trading strategy. So whether that be a manual trading strategy or an automated trading strategy, what we offer at Tigger Trends um, has proven value in increasing your likelihood or your awareness in making financial market decisions. Um, so I, I think it's something that provides a lot of value and I hope this video um, has been able to show you that. That's just my personal opinion, of course. Make sure to do your own research. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.